But when you think you've seen it all, you soon realize that you haven't. I've traveled to the outskirts of LA, California, and it's here that Bruce Oldenkamp called jackrabbits to within bow range. It was a first for me. Now some jackrabbits would run in close, but most would hang up just on the edge of bow range. Coming to the call, they seemed to know we were there. And when they'd stop, they were poised to run at the shot. Everywhere you go out here in the desert, there's all different sizes, medium, large, and small. Just like humans, at every stage of life, and the, the ground is just saturated with it. I mean, everywhere you go, there's rabbit poop. So there's been generation after generation of jacks and cottontails out here, and there's plenty of them. But they're not easy to kill. <laughs> you do call them in, but uh, every once in a while, you get one to come right up to you, but usually they, they stay back and look. And I'm not sure what they're, what they're coming for. You got any idea, Bruce? Are they coming for Magambo or are they coming because they're just curious? Maybe curiosity. Maybe so. Maybe a little bit of both. But whatever it is, keep doing what you're doing, buddy. Keep doing it. One of these days, I'm going to hit one. <laughs> We're going to get lucky and score. I'm ready. There's millions of jacks throughout the western deserts. I'm hoping to kill one. You're watching America's number one bow hunting show. Brought to you by Cold Steel, makers of the sharpest spears and knives. Relentless Pursuit's number one choice in camouflage. My arrow has passed through a big jackrabbit. A trail of blood stains his track. jackrabbit I've ever killed by calling them in and killing them. Wow, big old male too. Here we are right in the middle of California, real close to LA, and I got 18 wheelers going by on this side, houses up on this side, you know, but mountain bike riders all around me. It's crazy here, but there's animals that live right here in the city, and uh, it hasn't been easy, let me tell you. We've called a lot in and a lot of them got away, but we've uh, managed to kill a few. And that last one was a prime example of calling in jackrabbits. And I want to thank Bruce. Way to go, buddy. Way to call good them job. in here. He called me and said, hey, man, I can call jackrabbits as good as I can coyotes. Well, I, I must say, he wasn't lying. That was awesome. From the very beginning, man has followed the spore of his slain quarry. I am living out my God-given right. <laughs> Joining me on this hunt, Eric Welch. Like me, Eric loves to bow hunt. And his job is to try and keep me out of trouble. Now the pay's not too good, but I try and remind him that it's very rewarding.
So this is what they look like here in California. And uh, the jackrabbit's got super thin ears. You can see that. You got the veins in there and when it gets up to 100 degrees here in the summer, it keeps them nice and cool. And uh, a lot of meat on these legs too. They got a long, long strip along both sides where their uh, back straps are real thick section of meat it's good to eat and I know he's bloody but I'll show it to you that's the 10 ring on a jackrabbit <laughs> yeah Woo! been good today good in California for all you people up there on the interstate cruising by I hope some of you are tree huggers that hate us hunters here in California because I just scored Well, Bruce and I have been calling coyotes and crows all morning long, and I'm building up an appetite, so there's a really nice restaurant right ahead of us. Gonna have some tamales. What do you say, Bruce? Sounds excellent. Let's Much needed nutrition. Let's do this. Hope they're having a sale. They got hot waitresses there. <laughs> the one-stop shop, folks. Oh, this is getting better. <laughs> this is getting better. I'm 375. 375. Here you go, sweetheart. Keep the change. Thank you, sir. What's this guy got now? This is out here in the middle of the desert hunting coyotes. It's awesome. Food's showing up. We just stop and they come. My cameraman's getting fat. Let's go. Come on. Fresh made. It's hot. Wrapped in a corn stalk or something. Okay. Some jacks would run right in, others were leery. They'd sneak in. It was fun. It reminded me a lot of predator hunting. And it was very easy to be distracted, for you'd watch rabbits from a distance. Meanwhile, another may sneak in through the back door. It's a game of patience and luck. For if you're patient, sometimes you get lucky. Eric has scored. I was guarding the back door. I seen something coming through the brush. It vanished for a little bit. Next thing I know, slock! <laughs> Dig it out, Eric. Show your arrow. Holy crap. What a great shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And look, right over here. That's a, oh, that's a beauty. Look at the size of that rabbit. Nice. That's bigger than the one I shot. Look at all the ticks on him. Oh my gosh, he's covered with ticks. Look at his ears, you guys. Look at this. Ticks, all ticks on his ears. Nasty. Wow. Well, little wabbit, Harry put you out of all your tick misery. Way to go, buddy. Dude, I'm telling you, something about calling them in. Oh, you know what? Calling animals is just so awesome. Calling the, uh, the crows this week has been so much fun. But our, our luck on the coyote hasn't been too good. But, no. you know, I think they've been called to death around here. I think so. Yeah. But uh, nice shot, buddy. Thank you. Good job, man. We're that doing was, good. That was awesome. We're doing good. That, what is that, four rabbits now? That's four. And uh, I'll tell you what.
Nobody, nobody can uh, call him like this guy right here. I'll tell you what, I'll take the camera from him. What is your secret, Bruce? What is your secret, buddy? I don't have one. <laughs> you, you are a rabbit-calling fool, man. I guess that's all we can call this week. <laughs> this guy here is a killer, man. He, uh, he's known for his st stellar mule deer killing out in the flats. But uh, you do a darn good job on the jackrabbits, too, Bruce. Thanks, sir. All right. I appreciate it. And I love that little now, boy of yours, man. Thank you. He's a good-looking kid. Thank you. All right. Now we put Eric behind the camera. Yeah, he, he deserves that. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Jacks use cover as they approach. They dart from shadow to shadow, trying to stay out of sight. A second rabbit has appeared. But he's fast. And he's gone before the arrow arrives. Two misses. Did you get that chew out of your mouth? I'm good. I don't want my kids. I'm chew free. Okay. Well, folks, here we are in the desert here in California. We've had a rough time of it so far, but finally our luck has changed. We've had some good luck and some bad luck, and now we just got some good news and some bad news. But the good news is we found fresh coyote scat right here in the middle of the desert, and we're thinking if we go up this valley at any moment, we could call in a, a coyote, you know, who knows? Big mature coyote. Yeah. But the bad news is that uh, as we look at the uh, the scat of the coyote, I notice there's something here, and it appears to be some sort of collar. And so wherever you are out there, and because you're in California, uh, there's a good chance you may be a tree hugger. If you're missing Oliver and you voted for us not to hunt here in California, or maybe you had uh, something to do with getting rid of the lion hunting here in California, well, if you're missing your, your cat or possibly your little dog, Oliver, we have an idea where he is. And here he is. It wasn't long after that we spotted the prime suspect who had eaten Oliver. Cooling off from the midday heat, he stands in the shade, looking on as we call. I needed my signature 22 Magnum from XL Arms, but today I only had my bow. He's quite a bit out of range. If we could only call him closer, I'd kill him, then check his butt to see if the collar fits. When suddenly, Eric spots a jack just off to the side. Lucky for the coyote, but not so lucky for Bugsy.